Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today. Isn't it so cute? This can also be a Easter box instead of a Hello Baby. Okay, I'm going to show you the supplies now. We've got Purple Posy cardstock that measures 10 and a half by 7 and another scrap for our circle. We've got three pieces of Whisper White. Two of them for, are for stamping and this one measures 5 by 3 and this is for the roof. And then we've got Soft Sea Foam and this is a scrap for the die. Okay, so let's start with the box. I'm going to get the Simply Scored Scoring Tool. Okay, so I'm going to place it on the portrait side first and I'm going to score it at a half an inch, two inches, and four and a half. Then I'm going to turn it on the landscape side and I'm going to score it at two and a half, five, seven and a half, and ten. Okay, so let's fold on all those score lines. You do want to burnish it with your bone folder. Okay, so now let's do some cutting down here. We're going to cut up to the score line on each of these. We're going to remove this section here. And then we're going to angle cut this just a tad, okay? Okay, so that's all the cutting that we're going to do. Now we're going to take our tear and tape and put it on this edge right here. Okay, fold this over and I want to make sure it lines up at the top. This box is designed a little bit differently. So normally this side is the front, but because we're making a little house, it's not, okay? So what you wanna do is fold in and determine, okay, so that's the back. That's gonna make this the front. So we wanna put our adhesive on this front flap here, okay? And I wanna make sure that I actually get my adhesive all the way to the edge. I don't normally use this much adhesive on, on the box, but you'll see why in just a minute. Okay, so this is gonna fold in, this is gonna fold, this is gonna fold, and then that's gonna fold. And I would actually put adhesive on this piece as well. Okay. Over, just like that. Okay, now we're going to peel this one off. And see right there on that one, I put a little bit of liquid glue. That way all of these stick. I'll hold that there for a second. It'll be okay if it's not, but look, see how... I didn't use liquid glue on the side there. That's what we're fixing now, okay? Okay, there we go. Now I'm just gonna take my bone folder. Okay. Now which side did I say I want? This one. 
So I'm just going to squeeze just like that, okay? Okay, so now let's close this top. I'm going to use our Stampin' Up! stapler. Any stapler will work, okay? So here's our box so far. So we're going to set this aside and now do some stamping. Since we're using photopolymer images, I'm going to be using the Stampin' Mat. We are using two stamp sets, Cuckoo for You, the Squirrel and the Bunny, and then So Sentimental, Hello Baby. Okay, I'm using Memento ink. I'm going to stamp the squirrel down here. Let's stamp him one more time. I know I need to re-ink my um, ink pad. Okay, now let's stamp the greeting. Okay, so we are using lots of markers. We are using the combo of the Smoky Slate, the combo of the Purple Posy, the combo of the crumb cake, and then light pumpkin pie and light granny apple green, okay? So I'm gonna start with the dark smoky slate. That was the light actually. <laughs> I was looking at it like, what in the world? Okay, and now the light. If you only have one of them, it will be fine. I may or may not fast forward this. Depends on the noise in the background. Okay, now we're gonna take the light purple posy and the light pumpkin pie. You do wanna make sure that you let your ink dry before you use it on this um, image. And now the light granny apple green. Now we're gonna take the dark crumb cake And then the light crumb cake. And the light pumpkin tie again. Okay, now we're going to take the dark purple posy and we're going to color this little heart. Okay, so now we're done with the Stampin' Bin markers. So I'm going to cut out this one with the one inch circle punch. And then we're going to take a one and one eighth scallop circle punch. So those are going to layer together. Okay, so we're gonna get the big shot out now and we're going to cut the grass and this is using the Special Day dies. That's the one that has the raccoon. We're gonna cut out our Whisper White layer. This is a stitch shape square, stitch shape dies. And then we're gonna cut out our little animals and we're going to emboss the top of the house with the basket weave embossing folder. Okay, so I'm gonna get the big shot. Okay, so we're gonna start with the embossing first. For this extra thick 3D embossing folder, we only need one cutting pad, and I can't remember if I need the blue plate or not, so I'm gonna try to run it through, and if it doesn't work, we'll get the blue plate. It worked, okay. Someone was asking, the blue plate is really for our new dies, the basket, or not dies, but um, embossing folders, and the old ones, 
uh, don't need it, okay? The older ones. Okay, so now let's do some cutting. We're gonna put this on here and cut this one out. And we'll, we will attempt to do the grass. Now we're going to cut out these two and hopefully I uh, stamped them far enough from each other that I can cut them both out. I may not have. Let's see. Oh, maybe I did. Oh no. Okay. Let's just cut one out. For the last image, okay, so now this is the roof of our box, and we're just going to fold it over right in half, okay? And it's going to go up top just like that. Now you can either staple it again or you can clip it. I'm gonna use one of these clips. What are they? They're mini library clips. Okay, that looks good, right? Now we're gonna build our little focal point right here on this square. So I'm gonna get my silicone mat and I'm gonna add some liquid glue could tell that was a bit much so I just wiped a little bit of it off okay now I'm going to take my scissors and just remove the extra We're going to take this guy and add him with a dimensional. So just turn him over. <laughs> and now this one. Oh, he's still on the uh, cardstock. There we go. I was thinking after I made this that it would have been nice if I had used some Wink Stella on them. So you could do that. I'm going to use my liquid glue for the greeting. Okay, and then I'm going to put a dimensional on the bottom part. Okay. So now this is going to go on here with dimensionals. I'm just going to put a couple on there. Whoops. I want to add this first before I add the greeting. Okay, now this. Okay, so now I'm going to take the polka dot tool ribbon and the whisper white seam binding and I'm gonna tie a bow for the top. And then trim the ends. I do want to make the ends about the same length, so you might have to trim a little bit more. And then I'm going to add it to the top with a mini glue dot. Okay, so one piece of advice about the clip is it may pop off. If it does, you can just use a mini glue dot to hold it in place. Okay, so here's my original. Here's the one we just made. 
pretty cute, right? If you need anything, let me know. And don't forget, there's a free PDF over on my website uh, with all the measurements and everything. Thanks a lot. Bye.